decided that I am single, celibate, and no longer willing to date anyone. However, if you insist on taking me on a date, there will be a $500 fee. That $500 fee can be paid through Zelle, Cash App, or Apple Pay. I'll send you my phone number and you can but then we can discuss an arrangement. However, if you decide that you're going to text me or call me before you you will be blocked. Yeah, that's how we're going to do that. Take my money, my house and my cars. Yes, indeed, the champ is here. Hit that pose on him. Hit that pose on him. Yes, the champ is here. What's going on? Yes, indeed. Who we going to slay today because I ain't coming to play. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trade back again hit y'all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely superb. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribe to the Trade Kings, your family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a hot mess video for you all today. Yes, we have to go back to the basics because some of you all may have forgot what the king really do over here. And one thing I want you all to know is that we cover a whole variety of topics on the Trey King Show. You may see a pastor one day, even though we had some bad news happen just a few days ago, unfortunately. You may see cheating wives and cheating husbands. And also, you may hear about corrupt cops. And also, you may hear about baby mamas going wrong. And also, baby daddies killing the baby's mama. But anyway, we have a very special story for you all today. And this story really is appalling, if you will. Now, I don't understand... Number one, what makes this woman think that a man is going to pay you $500 just to go on a date with you? And look here, $500 is a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, imagine what you could do with $500 right now. Some of you all ain't paid your rent. Some of you all ain't paid your car note. Some of you all ain't paid your wife no money. Some of you all ain't paid your damn side dude no money. So think about all the good things, the positive things that you could do with $500 instead of giving it to some helpful you get what i'm saying now i don't know what made this woman and i don't know her name or not so when you all see me these stories please send me the person name or at least the city and state because guess what five hundred dollars in certain cities and states can go a long way you feel me now in houston the going rate is uh it was forty dollars now it's fifty dollars they went up ten dollars i don't know what's wrong with these women now and also shreveport louisiana the going rate of shreveport it was forty dollars they went down to thirty dollars in atlanta Atlanta, really off the chain. The going rate in Atlanta was $80. Guess what? It's $20 right now. You get 60% off. So, I mean, it's a lot you could do other than giving some helpful $500 damn dollars. Now, Goldilocks decided to make a video and upload it to Worldstar, stating to the world that her ass itch. And number one for you women, if your butt is out there itching, chances are you may need to go take your damn bath. Forget a damn shower, because some of y'all say, I don't even take bath tray. I take a shower. No, you got to soak that monkey. You get what I'm saying? You got to soak that booty in some hot damn water. Because how in the hell a man look taking you on a date, giving you $500, and you over there smelling like damn sauerkraut, damn salmon croquette, and hot tuna. You feel me? So if your booty is itching, just like Goldilocks said in the beginning of the video, men make her ass itch. But then she proceeded to say right after she said men make her ass itch, Dad, if you want to take me on a date, it would be $500. And she also said that she is single and celibate. Now, I am so sick of women talking about they're a celibate and single. Because you look at their DMs and their phones, guess what? You got about 50 Tom, Dick, and Harry's up in there. And I do mean that. You get what I'm saying? So you have a lot of different men that be talking to these women. And these women have the nerd enough to tell the world that they're a single. And then go even further and say, yes, they're a celibate. Look here. Just because you stopped having sex uh yesterday does not make you celibate, ladies. Let me tell you all this right here. Just because you stopped having sex a week ago does not mean you're a celibate. That just means that maybe you are still hurting or you had your period or something like that. But stop, stop trying to sell yourself to people online. That's what I want to get across today. And now, as you all may know on the Trey King Show, we talk about signs all the time because signs are there for a reason. Signs on the highway is there to remind you where you're going, how far you have traveled. 
and also the distance to your destination. Now, some of y'all don't pay attention to signs, so I'm going to give you all just a few signs right now. Three signs of what to avoid for you men and you studs out there, you lesbians out there, because the lesbians want to hear this too. Now, the first sign you should avoid if somebody starts asking you for money right off the top, don't mess with them because they don't want you. They want your money. That's the first sign. So please keep in mind the first sign because guess what? If you meet somebody and the first thing they want you to do is haul off and start buying them things, they're not into you. They're into your pockets, into your wallet or your purse and vice versa because men do it just like women do it also. But it look even worse when a woman has to sit up here and make a video to the world that men make her ass itch and then proceed to tell you how you can unmake her ass itch. Either your ass is itching or it's not. Now look here, me, I'm the type of guy, I don't want to mess with a woman Number one, whose ass is itching. You feel me? Because guess what? There may be something else going on that we don't know about. Anyway, you all had a first sign. The first sign is this right here. If you meet somebody, they start asking you for some money. Guess what? Dump them. Walk away ASAP. The second sign for you men and you studs out there is this right here. Is that. Watch people attitudes. If you meet somebody and they have a bad attitude, ask yourself this right here. Unless you have a bad attitude and you're a piece of crap your damn self. Now, I understand birds of the same fella flock together. But if you're a good person, you have no business trying to mingle with a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Far as their attitude wise. Now, ask yourself this right here, men and women out there. Would you want to date a man or date a woman with an attitude like this? Would you want to date a person that the man you pay them off the rip, off the jump? Think about that for a second. So once again, make sure you watch people attitudes. And now for the final side, the third sign, which is the most important sign. I hope you all are paying attention. If you meet somebody and they have a face looking like SpongeBob SquarePants, guess what? Avoid them because something is definitely wrong with them. And now back to the woman in the video. Ma'am, look here. You cannot sit up here and demand money from guys that you don't even know. And then she had a nerve to say, look here. If you send her $500 through PayPal, Cash App, Apple Pay, whatever. I don't know because I never use that type of stuff. I'm old school with it. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to just give you the money in your hand. I'm not paying for no damn date or no sex. You feel what I'm saying? That's a no-no. And no, you don't have to pay me. Because I had some helpers trying to offer to pay me for the digger lean. I'm like, how in the hell are you going to offer to pay me and I got more money than you? Let's be for real. Anyway, now look here. Women. Women. Because somebody got to tell you. I know Kevin Samuels is gone. May he rest in peace. But somebody have to tell you the truth. Look here. You cannot sit up here and make videos and make public demands with a butter face. I know some of you all looking around in bewilderment right now. Trey, what the hell is a butter face? A butter face is this right here. That means everything look good on you but your face. You get what I'm saying? And sometimes your attitude. But we talking about your face. So just because you got a ton of makeup on and you got your foundation on your face as thick as an Adidas pair of shoes, guess what? You may need to hush. You may need to sit the hell down. So make sure you all pay attention to people and how they come at you. Number one, ask yourself this right here. If a person really liked you, why in the hell would they charge you just to be around them? And then you got to ask yourself this right here. What fool offered to pay somebody just to go on a damn date with them? And also this right here, ma'am, you must know times are hard right now. People cars are getting repossessed. People can't even afford to pay their damn rent. New York rent going up. L.A. rent going up, Houston rent going up. You feel me? So people are struggling out here, ma'am. And out of all things you could have did, and so you're just saying that you want a good man, no, you want a man to pay you $500, and then you will consider going on a date with him. To me, that sounds like uh, you out here trying to sell something. You feel me? Now, you start at the beginning of the video stating that men make your ass itch, which is very nasty. I hate when women talk like that. If you're a woman, talk like a woman. You get what I'm saying? Only thing you got to do is sit over there and be pretty. That's it. And you'll find a guy, and maybe a guy will offer to take you on a date. But at the same time, fellas, and you studs out there, you lesbians, don't sit up here and pay somebody just to go on a date with them. Because guess what? If they did you like that, they've been doing it to everybody else. So you're not the first one. You're not the only one. But have more self-respect, more self-dignity about yourself. That way you will not get caught up with these type of people. Because guess what? Just because it may look good today, it will not be good tomorrow. And also, everything that shines is not gold, as you all can see. Now, you got people that dress themselves all up. Men and women do that. And put themselves on social media. And inside, if you look a little closer... Inside of them, guess what? They are full of it. They are full of mess. They are very nasty and corrupt people. So avoid those type of people. And also, before you dig deep into your pockets trying to get somebody your hard-earned money, ask yourself this right here. What can I do with $500? Should I give it to this person just to give it to them? And what does that lead you? That makes you a trick. You get what I'm saying? So, number one, the way you start is the way you finish. You want to come in demanding respect? 
And also, you want to leave demanding respect. Now, look here. If the person don't want to be with you and they still want money from you, guess what? You tell them to go find it somewhere else. You turn your back, put your left foot forward or your right foot, and proceed to walk forward. And guess what? You will not have that problem. You will let yourself go of that burden. Because at the end of the day, it's a lot more fish in the sea. So, fellas and you lesbians out there, make sure you all remember that. This is not the only fish in the sea. There's always somebody else that you can go be with or give your time to. You feel what I'm saying? But don't give nobody your damn money just to be around them. That's a no-no. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this video. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, it's not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me. We can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends who love to beg people for money and tell them, stop it. Stop it today. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in and thank you all also for sending me the story and I will see y'all soon on the next Trey King show. And guess what? I'm out.